Hello, everybody. Welcome to day 19. And you might notice that the video is a little bit different. I think it's a touch grainier, but that's okay because I am on a Zoom call with one of my fellow 100 mile May journeymen, uh, my good friend Jeffrey Strickland. So I'm going to throw it over to Jeffrey, who is coming to us from North Carolina. Jeffrey, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, Trey, thank you. Um, so my name is Jeffrey Strickland. I, uh, I think I think I guess guest starred on it was like episode eight or something like that. Um, but I'm here in uh, in Forest City, North Carolina, uh, really enjoying this this hundred mile May that uh, I guess Trey threw it threw it out on on his Instagram live um, back in like very end of of April. Um, I woke up earlier than than I probably should have one morning and was a little bit delirious and was watching his story and it said, you know, who wants to join me on the hundred mile challenge? And before my cup of coffee brain said yes. And uh, next thing I know, we're over halfway there. So uh, appreciate you having me on and, and really enjoying running. Absolutely, man. You were the, uh, the only one who took up the mantle and said, I'm going to do it with you. However, I think you and I have had an impact on some people. I've seen a lot more running videos on social media. So maybe we're doing the Lord's work. Maybe we're shouting into the void. But either way, we're having fun. And that's what it's all about. And speaking of fun, you're right. We're over halfway done. I think we're almost two thirds of the way done. You and I have taken slightly different approaches, but it kind of pans out to be the same thing. How do you feel so far? Do you feel like you're, you're still pushing through the wall? Do you feel like you've started to get better? Um, or, or the opposite, do you feel like you're kind of slowly unraveling? No, so uh, this has been, it's crazy how fast um, kind of adaptations can, can occur when, you know, when you put your body under, under enough stress and, and an appropriate amount of stress, how, how well and, and how quickly it can respond. So, you no, know, we talked back and forth off air plenty but those that first probably 10 days was terrible for me um you know and, and it's strange because i, I didn't I'm not gonna lie i actually thought this was going to be a, an easier challenge than than it's wound up being uh you know running three four five miles at a time has never been difficult for me but I've also never done it on consecutive days. It'd be just like if a, if a friend buddy wanted me to go run with them, I'd go run with them for, for that one day and then wouldn't run again for another month. Um, but by day three, uh, I was limping around everywhere. I was hurting. I was struggling. Just getting through, through the runs was, was the challenge. Uh, but by about day 10, I uh, broke through that wall and uh, have, have actually been feeling really good here for about the past week. That's excellent, man. That's good to hear. I agree with you. I, I thought this challenge was going to either be impossible or very easy. And it turned out to be very hard <laughs> and not impossible, but I was surprised at how cumulative this challenge has been. I thought that I was going to run and then, and then get in shape and sort of push through it but that has not been the case. It, it really uh, kind of backs up on me. And so day 20, I still feel days one through 19, uh, but I have seen things start to improve. I, I've done, I did a diet in April, I did whole 30, and I've been doing this for about 20 days. So I have seen a bit of a change in my body makeup. Have you seen any sort of change? Just looking in the mirror, has this helped? Uh, trim that sort of approaching 30 fat off of the bone a little bit? <laughs> um, well, it, I have noticed a difference, probably not in the, the way that uh, most men our age would like. I'm naturally just a very lean person. So uh, definitely seeing muscle mass coming off of me. Uh, but again, I just think that's, that's, the body realizing, you know, running at 180 pounds is less fun than running at 170 pounds. So it definitely shed stinks. that weight. It definitely stinks to see muscle mass fall off. But um, I think as doctors will start to tell you, 
uh, muscle, muscle, 10 pounds of muscle and 10 pounds of fat act on your heart the same way. Now, personally, I like weightlifting. I, I think that as I get older, that'll be more of the way that I live to be a hundred, but I'll tell you what running does wonders for all of that. Um, cardiovascular stuff, your breathing, your heart rate, your blood pressure running is a great way to keep that stuff in check. Um, for, for those of us, like Jeffrey said, who are naturally lean, maybe it's not that big of a <laughs> impediment. Uh, but that's just another reason why I appreciate you doing this with me. We're very, we're very different for being so similar. I will say that it's a, uh, having a 180 pound guy and a 280 pound guy do this challenge really give you two sides of the same coin. So here's the last thing, Jeffrey, we both played college football and college football comes with certain amounts of working out and certain amounts of uh, physical discipline. What's been the biggest difference doing this kind of athletic discipline, this long-term running? How's that different than what you did when you played football or maybe what you do? I know that you're a certified uh, strength and conditioning trainer or something, CSCS or whatever. Um, so I guess first, can you tell us about being a CSCS <laughs> and whatever that is? Can you give us the right acronym and then tell us how this has been different than some of the football workouts that we used to do? Yeah. So, uh, CSCS is certified strength and conditioning specialist. It's kind of the, um, you know, baseline certification through the national strength and conditioning association, kind of the, that's the, the benchmark if you want to get into the strength and conditioning world and, you know, train high school, collegiate professional, uh, teams. Um, so the biggest thing is, you know, I've, like you have been, been running a lot in the mornings. Um, when that alarm clock goes off, the only person that cares whether I get up, lace the shoes up and go, or turn the alarm off and wake up two hours later is me. Um, the, you know, the, you, you remember back, back in, in your days, you know, you, when you're playing for a team and you're working out for a team, you've got 80 other guys that are relying on you. And, you know, that, that's one of the things that I love about team sports is the selflessness that, that it teaches uh, because those guys are relying on you. But I know you've commented on this um, early, just the, the self-discipline that it takes when no one gives a rip if I don't run. Um, I mean, they, they don't even know. So right. uh, it, it's, it's very unique in the sense that you don't have that external motivation. Um, other than just trying to, to, to finish the, the hundred, which is a, a personal goal goal anyways, uh, which has been cool fighting that and, and having to, having to work through it. Very good, man. I've noticed the same thing. It's way different when you have to get yourself up and I've had a while to kind of adjust to that. You have too. It's been about six, seven years since we played and this YouTube journey has been really interesting too because part of the discipline aspect has been doing these videos and posting them and having to commit to that kind of helps me commit to the other thing, but it also makes it a little more difficult. So it's been very interesting. We got 10 more days, man. So let's finish strong. I have an off day today. I know you did a short run. So tomorrow is back to the grind. Anything else you want the potential entire world? Because remember this potentially could go out to the entire world. Anything else you want the potential entire world to know? Yeah, just um, I think, especially as we keep getting older and we get further away, you know, for those of us who, who were athletes, further away from our sport, uh, finding ways to push ourselves outside of our comfort zone, uh, whether it's important or not, it's fun. Uh, it, it, it It's brought kind of some energy and, and life into, into my – just everyday routine. Uh, so, you know, whether it is run a hundred miles, complete the whole 30 diet, you know, what, whatever it is, I strongly recommend as, you know, we get into 
to our, our older adult years to continue to find find these kind of challenges to just help make ourselves just that much better. Absolutely, man. Well, I really appreciate you doing this run with me. I appreciate you taking the time to do these interviews so that we can put stuff out to potentially the entire, the entire world. That's what it's all about. All righty. So that's it uh, from me and Jeffrey and from everybody else doing 100 Mile May. Hope you guys have a good one.